Welcome back. Thank you for staying with us. Now, is adding too much solar into the mix a risk to the national grid? Now, Electricity Minister Kosian Suramo Khopa caused a stir this week after warning that an overload may cause a collapse. Rain Schnuck Henkemans is the managing director of Alumo Energy. He joins us now to talk about his concerns. Now, um, thank you very much uh, th uh, for joining us, uh, Rain, here on ENCA. Uh, grid capacity is constrained at the moment so one can understand why abruptly adding a significant amount of solar generation into the grid could be a bit of a problem but you don't see any danger at the moment why is that uh, thanks for having me on the show uh, I just want to clarify his comment or his statement that he, I think he was referring more to the solar farms than the uh, residential inst installations in South Africa a residential installation in South Africa um, will not impact the grid at all because it's a inverter plus a battery. So when the cloud goes over, the, the battery will take over and power your house. Where if it's a solar farm, uh, which are they installing in the Western Cape and Eastern Cape, if there's a storm or something, there will be a drastic loss of power and that will impact the uh, grid. Mm. All right, so one of the problems is that the renewable energy, uh, things such as solar, for instance, has uh, fluctuations. You have made a point that the grid is not de uh, designed for that. How is this working, uh, particularly in the Western Cape? So, yeah, our grid uh, was not designed at all for a solar farm uh, to power the, uh, the country. It was designed on coal, which is a, um, a stable power uh, to the grid and to the South African population, uh, where the Western Cape is, um, is putting measures in that it can stabilize the grid. Hmm. So some people have suggested that the private sector should come in, build the grid, operate it until they get a return, then transfer it back to the national government. Will that work? Yes, uh, I do believe that will work. Uh, the private sector has to get a return on the investment uh, and they do want to employ it. Uh, in uh, the solar farms or residential uh, solar installations in South Africa. So I definitely think that will work uh, if the right structure is put into place. Mm. All right, but you do agree that uh, this has to be something that's done uh, at a slow pace? If we had to transfer... Correct. Mm. Correct. It has to do at a slow pace. The, uh, the grid must be designed accordingly, but you can't just go tomorrow and install a solar farm in the Eastern Cape. Uh, there's ERA reports, which is environmental reports, there's grid impact studies, ESCOM has to approve it, NERSA has to approve it. So it won't be just overnight that the private sector can install farms to subsidise the lack of uh, generation in South Africa. Mm, right. Rain Schnuckenkermans, the director and managing director of Alumo Energy. Thank you very much, sir, for your time here on ENCA.